Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to the Calm Before the Storm mod. I'm your host, Mr. Mocha Lover, or Hair Mocha Lover. But right now, we gotta discuss the occupation of the Netherlands. Now, I asked you guys yesterday whether we should create a territorial unit for the Dutch, or annex it directly to the, to the Reich. And overall, there's a lot of support for both sides, and while this is not a democracy, I do take into consideration your thoughts, concerns, opinions, and feelings, sometimes. So, the Netherlands are now under our control, and there are several options for its territorial arrangement. How will we organize it? In which, you guys, overall, majority of rules, sometimes, said that we should go ahead and... Create a territorial unit for the Dutch. We've completed, completed the organization of the Dutch into a territorial unit. We must now begin with the process of determining how the new territory will be governed and by whom. Our options are to place it under the Wehrmacht as a military administration, establish civilian rule under a party functionary, or place it under the rule of the SS. What shall we do? Iron discipline of the army? The ideological purity of the party? Or the spots and spirit of the double S? Well, actually, if you didn't know, because I didn't know this earlier. Ooh, Ata Seis Inquart? Very weird name, but that actually will determine which one of these three we go. Assimilation, maintain local cultures, which is not bad, or colonization. All the German films to invest. Now, this is the Dutch we're talking about. So, really, I think going with the middle one would probably be... Well, actually, we get to do this one later on. Army, the party. Uh, I think it'll be okay if we do the party. Let's do the party. So this, oh, and that one's over here. Okay, my bad. A civilian administration. Even though military administration might be okay, but... I think it'll be okay with civilian administration. Now that the governance of the Netherlands have been decided, we must also determine the status of its people. Will they be given second-class status in accordance with party doctrine on non-Germans, or will we make an exception and permit the local certain privileges, even if it bucks our official stance? Pragmatism wins over purity versus German treatment is for the German people. This will weaken the local administration. Well, I want to... <sighs> pragmatism? German treatment is for German people. Well, we want to make them Germans, right? We're going to go with pragmatism for this one. Which we went with German only administration versus allow collaborators into the government. The future of the Netherlands. Now that we've chosen a form of governance and our stance towards the native population, we must look to the future of the territory. There are several ways through which the Netherlands may eventually be integrated into the big old daddy Reich, and none are compatible. Will the traditions and rights of the region be accepted and retained as we join to the Reich? Will it be nothing more than a brave frontier from German pioneers to settle? Or we will, will we take a middle road of assimilation and accommodation in the land we've acquired so the cultural traditions of the territory will survive, which will speed up integration into the Reich? We must pursue a policy of assimilation, or it is nothing but Lebensraum for the Aryans. Now, don't get me wrong, we all love Lebensraum here. And honestly, I have no idea which way historically this one went. Um, I'm pretty sure it wasn't Lebensraum. I don't know if the cultural traditions of the territory will survive. I think it's just best to go ahead and just do a normal policy of assimilation. Because the Dutch are just swamp Germans, right? Realistically, they're dar. We get some national daddyism in the schools. It's not too bad. I kind of want to do that one. Cultural traditions might be okay. That actually might be the way that Germany did it initially. Maybe. I just don't know. I don't remember. So I'm just going to go with the pursue a policy of assimilation and the finalized status of the Dutch. With the administration and staff, their stance towards the locals determined. and the future of the territory plan, the status of the Dutch has now been solidified. Unless we have anything further to add, they can now go about their work and without further oversight. The administrator knows what they're doing. The Dutch situation bears further inspection. You'll be switched to playing as an occupational authority in the Netherlands. That'd be cool, but we're going to go this way. Cool. So, this is the focus sheet that we'll probably get for all of the little different states here. Because we'll probably do the same thing for... Oh, they captured Paris, huh? Oh, we still do the Spanish stuff, but we don't need to do that anymore. Uh, we still need to do that stuff, too. We're very bitter about the loss in the Great War. The only way they will be satisfied is victory, either in the diplomacy or war. Which are cool. We'll fail if we do not control this. Uh, but we do have it, so... You know what? Let's hold on to a few, few more days. We'll do Luxembourg. We will do Belgium. Um, we can disable the Maginot Line. And we do have quite a few comms to go through as well. But we have excavation done, which is very, very good. It is 1940, everyone. Hope you're having a great old year. We're doing okay, but let's get some radar. Because I really want some radar over the ocean here. Because that'll be pretty darn important as the... French state is doing its best against enemy convoys. C cool. But yeah, we really need to start go thinking about Operation Sea Line. I would love to just ramp up production on planes, especially fighters and naval bombers. Ooh, we have none right there. That is not good. Um, I don't want to lower cast support yet. That's super, super important. Carbines, we can lower this by five. I want us to really, really focus on loads and loads of planes. Uh, get two more things of uh, military factories going. Because... Uh, Infrastructure is okay. A couple comments up. Someone says we should do Spain or the UK. We'll probably will eventually. We probably will. So, no worries. We'll probably do that in time. Oh, they do have some enemy planes there. We do need some fighters around here as well. We really don't have that many planes to spare, which 
Oh, that sounds pretty a struggle to me, but let's go and do that as well. Uh, the easternmost part of Slovakia was annexed by Hungary. I think they're talking about this part, which I've already given this part, which is Carpathian Ukraine, to the Hungarians. So that's very, very good. Uh, cannons, yes, we will take that plate. Thank you very much. I'm a little surprised that we haven't encountered any other ships around here. Let's go do that as well, because we're doing pretty darn well. We have... Okay, this is not a very great screen efficiency. It is four carriers, two battleships, three heavy cruisers, and... 8 light cruisers and 13 destroyers. Uh, this would make a total of 9 capital ships and 21, which is at the very minimum of what you should really do for your naval buildup. Uh, usually, for at least me personally, oh, we have. Uh, we're going to do that anyways. Uh, I personally prefer having 4 screens for every 1 capital ship. So, has it been enough days yet? Yes, we completed it. Now, let's take a look actually. Better loser. Grosso General Stop hit the youth. Um, where are we? Where are we? Where are we? Uh, victory dog calls. Oh, that's a little better. That's a little better. Not great, but a little better. Do they not have things here? Not planes. Well, let's take a look down here. Do we? We definitely need more planes. Oh, baby mama, we definitely go and get some more planes. Um, go up by five because we're really going to hammer home. At least get, go to more. We need as many mills as possible. It is only March eighth, so we want to produce as many plants. And at this point, we can probably get whatever resources we really, really need to get. And let's go ahead and do the occupation of Luxembourg next. So if you want to build up, let's go ahead. So we did this for Dutch. We'll do the same thing for Luxembourg, even though I'd rather just directly annex it. But that's a lot of peeping. For this one, let's go with the... We'll probably do the party again. Pragmatism, German treatment for German people. Pragmatism wins over purity. Mm. Culture traditions. I don't know. Lebensraum. Uh, let's do culture traditions for this one. And finally, status. They know what they're doing. Building sabotaged. Oh, do they not have this as cores? Oh, maybe not completely. Well, that kind of sucks. Occupied state. What do you mean it's an occupied state? It's definitely not an occupied state. And this is led by Gustav Simon. Oh, yeah, Simon. Simon. Oh, I don't know. Whatever. And we're finishing up some more land reforms, which is, or air reforms, really. Bring in plunder factories. That wouldn't be too bad. Convert factories. That wouldn't be too bad. Move production underground. Increase repair efforts. Total economic mobilization. Total war. That's nice. We don't. I don't really want to go down that way. We don't really need to. We could probably do this one. And because uh, the Soviet Union has not demanded Polish territory because we've not done the pact with the Soviet Union just yet, so. We will threaten Romania to turn over northern Transylvania to the Hungarians as many ethnic Magyars live there, and Italy is trying to justify on the Yugoslavians right now. So, it is what it is. Oh, and the tanks did well, pushing out the Brits. Good. Do we have another carrier over here? We have four, we have four extra carriers laying around. I made too many carriers. Oh my goodness, I never thought I'd say that as Germany, but we made too many carriers. How are the planes doing over here? Um, not great. Really, not great. More fighters. We need more, 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 more fighters. Uh, not bad. Overall, really not too bad. I can take off probably one of you guys actually come over here as well. Back camp. Well, let's finish off our land auction with Modern Blitzkrieg. Another comments. Uh, focus trees. Which in in the focus tree here? Where do we have our research slots? Res. Oops. We're not in the focus tree. Research. Um, slot. Well, doesn't look like we get look like we get any. Okay. Research. Re I spelled research right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I don't think we get any. Continue naval doctrine. So we don't get any sort of na uh, advantage in terms of research slots but we do get a lot of blueprints so i guess that kind of bounces it out a little disappointing because there's so much research to do but i guess it makes sense reformal doctrine research bonuses traditionalism so that kind of sucks but whatever oh do we actually shoot something down oh look at that i'm a little afraid to send these guys into the channel because the, the brits have a they do have a, quite a big navy which oh hello hey another destroyer nice and where is this guy? Oh god, please don't get hit. Please don't get hit. Please don't get hit. You guys are still doing okay. I really want to do Operation Sea Lion. This is probably going to be a gigantic mistake. Oh, increased conscription. Do they have, no, they have plenty of manpower. And we're doing stuff with our intelligence agency as well right now, too. So that'll be good. Alright, so with our, our guys here. You guys are just kind of all hanging out, having a good old time. But that's not going to last forever. So you guys come over here and begin preparing for Operation Sea Lion. And this goes up, peace out. Well, there goes Finland. Wilhelm List. Let's do offensive. Oh, wait, no. That's different. Organization loss with moving? 
Oh, Max Entrenchment would be so much better. That usually gives you plus one. I thought it would be the same as it normal, normally it is. But I guess not. Oh, boy. Well, good to know. And actually, you guys are what? 20s. One of these armies is 40. Ah, the big boys. Well, this is probably going to go very poorly. But we'll have to wait and see. I will use our task force to hopefully do okay with uh, navally invading. We'll see what happens. This is such a huge risk. Go there, and I don't want too many supply issues. So one, two, three, and I did. I do notice that uh, one of these guys isn't doing so well. And by doing so well, I mean I'll go to Paris ish, and then one, two, three, four, something like that. These guys. Yeah, we didn't get that one. Okay. Keep all these guys in place. Get ready to invade. We're doing well on fuel. So the second Vienna award is very nice. Let's go ahead and do Spears Architecture. Oh, uh, we're kind of okay for now. New subgroups. Black cruiser models. Screens destroyers. Let's do that one. Uh, if we're to successfully sink British shipments, we need a decent sub design to do it. Now, instead of focusing on um, these guys, Norway. Actually, I want to focus on the Danish. But instead of doing them, I'm just going to go ahead and just invade Britain. I know it's not very historical, but whatever. And we, we will do... Oh! Oh! I forgot about North Africa. It's a gigantic mess. Wow. Mussolini issued a telegram today asking us about the possibility of Bulgaria's entry into the Axis. Bearing in mind the Bulgarian government's susceptibility to foreign pressure and far right as political movements, their loyalty will be easy to maintain, thereby making them a logical ally in the Balkans region. How should we respond? Yeah, why not? We're cool with that. Now, the Kingdom of Morocco, I didn't even know they existed. I completely forgot about North Africa. But actually, it's not too bad. Wait, is this? Egypt's in with us. They have a lot of manpower. They have a lot of babies. Cool. Uh, let's see. The Allies are doing quite well. Ethiopia, they're not doing too bad. Uh, if these guys could die, that'd be really good. So we'll see what happens. Even Morocco's with us, too. So they actually might lose. Free France is not do doing too bad right now. But I would like to continue increasing the amount of fighters we do have here. We're going to need so many fighters for this. Alright, we're going to test the grounds a little bit. Former department would be nice. New passive defense. I didn't expand any of that stuff yet. We have way too many carriers. I guess we have spare carriers. I mean, I could throw them all in. Uh, but they didn't get hit pretty hard. Can we do naval invasion support here? That'd be good. And let's block this off, th that one off. That's not worth doing. Um, anything that's less than five isn't really worth doing for now, so. Just hang, hang out and hide. Hang out and hide. Hey, they came in. That's great. That's great. We might need that. We'll definitely need it against these guys, too, so. And you never know about these these fine, fine folks up there. Over there. Oh, look at that. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. You ain't done yet. We're going to build a lot of millies. Loads of millies and more dockyards. We need a much bigger navy. We're not making any naval bombers, which is a big, 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 big mistake. And make sure we got plenty of guns. We're going to need a lot of guns to put down a lot of resistance in Russia. My goal is to go to war by with Russia by mid-1930 something. 1930, no, 1940. Uh-oh. Oh, these are enemy task forces. Okay. Yeah, this is why I want radar. That's why we need radar. So we can see what's in the water. So we can make sure we don't die fighting the waters. Fighting the waters? We're not fighting the waters. We could try it. We could definitely try it. Before we do that, though... Do we have any extra planes? Go in. And let's get some cast. We will do the best we possibly can. Chew them up here. Because this is... Actually, they divided this up. Usually it's southern England. Well, it's southern England over here and west England over there. So, interesting. Cancel the lonelies. That's fine. Do a lot of damage to the ports. Nothing yet. Nothing yet. Which is totally okay. Oh! Hey, we found some ships. Now, this is going to be a bad thing. But I hope we can do okay. Operation Sea Line, let's go! We still have more comments to go through as well, so. And this is very historical. We've landed without any sort of opposition at all. Would you look at that? Alright, everyone get over there. We're gonna vamoose with our 40 combat with deficiencies. <laughs> let's go! Oh, where are the tanks? Send the tanks in too. Actually, that's really bad for supply, but if we move fast enough, they won't even know what hit them. Go, 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 go! Oh, they have divisions in London. Go, 40 boys! Boys, please go. Please. Oh, more divisions. Look at that. Eh, hey, motorized. Nice. Yeah, very historical. Very historical invasion of Britain. Super historical. 
And do convoy escorting at this point. Get that extra destroyer in there. We need as many screens as possible for the sleep. Go, 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 go. No, you son of a gun. You're not doing jack squat to us. Bristol, yes. I don't know anything. I don't know that much about the, the English or British geography. Oh, Cornwall. I can't wait to set up a government down there with Hodler? Hodling? Something like that? Oh, the occupation of Belgium. Oh, I forgot about that. Cool. Um, Divide into Walloon, Flemish control units, annex the rest. Oh, I kind of like annexing it. That sounds like fun. Flandern? Oh, I don't, I don't remember what it was historically. I really don't. So, so much for having a historical run, especially with a, a successful Operation Sea Line. Uh, one territorial unit for Belgium and Northern France. We'll do that one. All right. Belgian Nord Frankreich. That's probably the real one, so. Let's go with Belgium and Nord Frankreich. we got to create Burgundy, so. Status of the Belgians. Treatment, German treatment is for German people. This will, I don't want to weaken the local administration, though. But we'll do it once. The future of Belgium. Assimilation. There's nothing but Lebensraum. Uh, we'll probably do assimilation, maybe. But it's northern France as well. I'm going to save Lebensraum for the east. That'd be nice. And finally, state. The administrator knows what they're doing. Hello. Are you from... Switzerland? Oh, no. Tunisia. Um, I don't really want to use you. Oh, yes. Sorry. Goodbye. But, hey. They're... They're really trying to bomb us. Oh, we lost one Junker. But at this point, I don't really know if they have any real ways of doing well here. Get that armor in there and completely encircle them so they have nowhere to move. New sub designs are great. Uh, screen design research. If we're to have a good surface, we fast and small ships are essential. The faster we go, uh, the better we'll have it, actually. Go in. Go in. More pressure. More pressure. We're really not doing too bad. Oh, man, they're really trying to bomb our ships. And we're trying to bomb their ships, too. Yeah, I think in May 1940, France capitulated. And I don't think the Germans had the UK, but, you know, you gotta love Hoi 4. Gotta love the mods. Um, we could raise this, but we don't really need to, honestly. Um, military high command. I don't know who was supposed to be here. Krebs. Ah, I love Downfall. Der Untergang was such a great movie. Every time I watch that movie, it's always... You find something that you didn't... In, see before. I love that movie. I need to go watch it again. Ah, oh, Krebs. And of course, with a Steiner and Fagelein. <sighs> Guderian. Von Manstein. That gives you motorized soft attack. I like that a lot. You know what, screw it. Von Manstein. I'm not using Rommel right now because I hate supply consumption problems. Norwich. Keep him in place. Don't let him move. Let the armor do what it must. And this is for Poland. You piece of the garbage British. Actually, even capitulate them. We capitulate the Allies. We're going to go all the way. Wales has been completely encircled and cut off from the rest of the forces. Oh, we're creating TNO here. Oh, this is so much. This is so good. Oh, that's actually the province up there. Look at that. Nice. To Scotland, my friends. Well, first, obviously, Northern England, but whatever. Capture of London. We still can't create any SS units yet, but so... Modify it. Nice. The bitter loser. Well, <laughs> bitter lo loses no more. Great. We actually lost war support. Uh, all the comments, too, I need to get to. Uh, can the UK do... Oh, actually, can the UK do the Imperial Federation? I do not know. That's actually a really good thing I looked at real quick before we killed them off. Let's get some better artillery first. And the UK... Um, let's see. Prohibit the BUF. What is that? What's a BUF? British Union of Fascists? Mosley? You're going to hurt our Mosley? No. Every time I see Mosley. Every time. It, without fail. I always say he's handsome. Or I'm like, oh. Or I guess you could say swoon. But, you know, Mosley, it was a handsome fellow. I don't know what happened to him after, you know, World War II. Home front and Federation, maybe? I mean, this has a dynamic... Oh, Federation Malaya. Maybe not. Dynamic focus tree, so maybe they can't do it? Or maybe there's another part of the tree that you can unlock? I don't know. But it doesn't look like there, it is here, so... The failure of the British will be the complete and utter downfall. I guess most of the VPs are in England, Wales, and Cornwall. And none in Scotland, almost. Almost none in Scotland. This is beautiful. Alright, up next, someone's asked, uh, when are we going to do Equestria War Supremacist Aquilia? 
or it really leads to fascist Aquilia, but it really supremacist Aquilia. We got the allies. Uh, for that campaign, will come out very soon, actually, at the time of this recording. Very historical. 20 minutes in, 21 minutes in. UK's done. Allies are done. I'm not sure how to do this, so... Yeah. This... Well, and we didn't even have to... We didn't even do the peace, or the pact, the molotov Ribbentrop pact with the USSR, so... Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and annex everybody, just because we'll probably get events for, like, annexing them and such, so... Just annex them all. Uh, actually, before we do that... Ooh, let's annex... Because we can create puppets later on. Crown King of Burma. Let's go close out of that one. Just take all states. I love Jordan. I love the Dutch East Indies. Burma, I, I will make up puppet states for these guys because this is, would be way too much for us to directly rule from Berlin. As much as I want to, as much as I'm sure a lot of you guys would like me to. We even have Canada, for the love of God. Um, we're just going to take everything here first. Thank you. And we'll divide up our territories with the appropriate individuals. Well, okay. The war is over by 1941. World War II is done. Or 40, 1940. I'm sure this would be Hitler's wet dream, man. I swear to God. Not bad. Not bad. Well, how strong is America? This is probably a really bad idea. Probably a really bad idea. But because we're at peace. Oh, no one's going to even support Yugoslavia. Newfoundland? Oh, Newfoundland still exists? Oh, why did... I don't know, man. Newfoundland? I mean, they're not a problem. There really won't be a problem. And I know when you attack America, you get a really bad debuff. And we don't have the Navy to support this, really. But, you know, Ireland needs to die. Just saying. <laughs> oh, we can expand these guys because we have enough territory. Expand that Leibstandart. Absolutely. How old is him? Josef Sepp Dietrich. No one who's part of uh, Himmler's group there. NTNL. Return Slovenian lands. Oh. Or oh, Slovakian lands. The cabinet has been discussing the matter of giving back land to Slovak state, our ally, as they claim that some of the land we possess is rightfully theirs, and our justification for continuing to occupy these lands are mostly baseless. What would this do? Like this, this state or something? No, it's the Czech state. Oh, something like that. Um, yeah, this is, isn't so good. Looks kind of ugly, that, that little state there. Let's see what happens. I'm not sure. The cabinet has been discussing this. Um, doing the lands. Make them quite happy. We're going to keep them. Well, are they our puppet? Yeah, so... We don't have to do the resistance there. And that's... Less of a resistance for us. And we can probably annex them later on anyway, so... That's fine with us. Return French lands. Ah, uh, I don't know. Uh, that's, is this the French lands we're talking about? Because I don't want to... I don't want resistance, so... How much of the French lands are we going to give them, though? Do, they do have plans on this. Return the core states. Uh, we're keeping them. Yeah, we're going to keep these. Return Egyptian lands. Uh, do they claims on this area? No. And for this one, we're gonna keep them. Uh, das Reich. Oh, I've got to do that. I've got to do Totenkopf. A Polizei Panzergrenadier Division, made out of members of the Ordnungspolizei. This division will be able to supp supplement the army and raise the SS Panzer Division Viking. Composed of volunteers from the Lowlands and or Nordic countries, this SS Panzer Division can be used to su supplement the army. Very cool. Canada, India. Let's do India first. I would like to get uh, Raj. They're now under our control. Should we release it as a puppet? Release it as a colony? Must be thoroughly dismantled. Colony. Yeah, colony. The German Raj. Oh, this is going to take a while to release. Oh boy, I can actually see my mouse wheel spinning blue. What more commas, I guess? Um, let's see. Play as the clan in Red World. I will eventually. I would like to do that. Play NSIG 1918. Yeah, I could try that out sometime. I don't know much about it, but we could try it. Uh, the Allies were in Poland because I attacked Switzerland early on, and they had they joined the Allies, so... That actually makes a lot of sense, so... Yeah, maybe I should have attacked Switzerland, but oh well. It is what it is. Someone recommends we play as, play as Palpatine's Gamble, that Star Wars mod. Which, very true. I would like to play that mod sometime. We will play that mod sometime. I promise you that. Uh, and look. Beautiful. Beautiful. 14 million manpower. No divisions yet, but... We're gonna make India great. Tremendous. I wish we could assimilate and integrate this, these guys into us, but, you know, whatever. I wish we went down this way. Radical Nationals would, would have been fun. Oh, well. Actually, do they have a spirit that hurt, gives them more daily democracy support? Daily autonomy game, which I don't like. Quit. Well, technically, Raj quit India movement. Uh, Hindu-Muslim tensions. We don't care. 
We just want to assimilate them. Actually, I don't think we'll be able to assimilate them, but whatever. Traditional society, secret police. We love secret police. Lots of fair policies and economic ties. Well. Oh, well. Well, okay. Well, we did see line pretty darn successfully, I'd say. At this point, we've got four extra carriers just doing nothing. Go and train. Why not? Occupation of Britain. Next, uh, other comments. Uh, did you get? Can you get Japan to join our alliance? I kind of doubt we can. So, that'd be really cool, though. Halza, thank you very much. Occupation of Canada, we'll do that very soon. Wait, why do we lose the thing about uh, Britain here? Oh, we got more factories. Um, I don't want to use all these factories. I would rather liberate the people we have currently. Oh, what is this? Ah, oh, the Vikings, yes. 19 combat width. That is very interesting for a division. Um, I don't really want to mix you with everyone else, really, so I'm going to put you over here. You can just kind of hang out. Hans Guderian, there you go. Uh... Oh, there you go. The Occupation of Britain. Let's do the Occupation of Britain next. Uh, should we release this? The puppet balkanized Great Britain in England, Wales, and Scotland. That would be much easier to administer, realistically. So, we'll probably do that. As much as I hate lag, we're going to do it like this. All the comments include, what happened to our boys in China? Well, they eventually came back. I honestly have no idea. They were fighting. Both the divisions that we sent came back to us. So, that was good. We have a United Raj, and we have a divided England. And really, just UK. That's the... The Welsh Dragon State, led by Cole Barton. Uh, they have generic focus. Actually, what is the generic focus for this one? Uh, political effect, collectivist ethos. It's basically the same thing. Ideological fanaticism is great. We love it. And England's led... Ah, there he is. Actually, that portrait does not do justice to him. What is that sticking out of his mouth? Does he have something in his mouth? Is it a bone? Yeah, that portrait... I, okay, I take back what I said earlier. Almost every time... Almost every time I see Mosley, I swoon for him. But... Oh, there's no unique focus tree. And... Okay. William Ware Gilmore... Probably nothing there. And Osta. Man, they did my boy Mosley just so badly. I mean, why? <laughs> you didn't get his good side, man. I'm not saying I love Mosley, but jeez, man. How could you do this to him? Anyways, Heinz. Panzer expert. Oh, we have no command power. Oh, let's go and do this one too. I want to take this off. And I'm sorry I'm taking a while to do this, but we got to do Canada. Canada's not under control. Should we release these a puppet? Um, I'd rather dismantle them. Not really. Canada can just do this one. There's, Canada does not have a big enough population to really hurt us too much. So, And I want to do all this stuff before we figure out what type of factors we have. Uh, let's see. Since the mod started in 1933, this was a comment. The AI had more time to build up. You were correct. You were completely correct. They had more time to build up, but apparently it didn't mean anything. It did mean a little bit, but we still took them out pretty easily. All right. Give it a day. And we still have more factories. Okay. Um, that's not looking too bad. That's actually actually really looking very, very good. More fighters. We're going to need more fighters. We're going to need more guns. Definitely more guns. Get more... Carry fighters are okay Okay as well. Tanks are fine. Not too worried about that. Motorized are okay. Light tanks. Get some more casts. That would be nice. More doctors would be nice. We, we definitely need more destroyers. So, yeah. Not bad. Not too shabarinos. And we're still doing well here. Since we're not at war, go and do that too. Now, America, like I said, has a ginormal fleet. Ginormo. But, whatever. And someone says we should try the Great War Redux again because we got a huge update at the time of this recording. We will eventually. And uh, so someone also said that Reichskommissariats Nederlan and Belgian, Belgian ha are bugged. So they might have a little bug defense. I'm not sure. Should I core this or not? Because that seems really bad. That should be core probably already, right? In Eindhoven and Rotterdam. That should be core. But let me know if I should core, but I core it as well as Limburg. Just because I guess it makes sense for them to have some sort of resistance in Ardennes. And Heinut, and over here as well. So we'll see what happens. Oh, Kaltenbrunner. Oh, someone else who was in Burgundy. Oh, cool. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. I'll, I'll leave it up to you guys. I wonder how fast we can assimilate them. That should be really cool if we can assimilate them more. Uh, oh, why don't you do that one too? Tomorrow, Empire of Japan could be our enemy. We need you to defend your country today. Why not? And I want to get rid of those guys. So after a screen design research, we're going to go ahead and do more stuff down here. Uh... That's fine with us. Ally Hungary... Well, actually, actually, that would be really good to do immediately. Hungary must be brought into the alliance to reinforce the anti-Bolshevik bulwark. Fine with us. Totally, totally fine. Canada... Oh, hello, Canada. Um, no, Canada, you are led by Alexander Cambridge. Canada, unit, unity, see. The great... <laughs> you're still depressed, huh? Decentralization policies, British economic ties, high to military British presence. I don't know about that one anymore. Um, you're under a new administration right now, Canada. So, look at all that manpower we've got. Look at all that we've been building. I want Germany to be... Ec uh, Economically independent. I'll talk to you here. Mass resource gain. 
Oh, they're attacking your ally, Bulgaria. Eh, that's fine, whatever. I mean, our soldiers are ready to go. Uh, that's fine. I do want to wait for these guys to get in first, though. Let's get, let's get these Hungarians in here first. We already gave them that little territory. Oh, we did the Second Vienna War, and it just gave it to them. Nice. We're now formally allied to the Hungarians. Hooray, death to the Bolsheviks. <laughs> Look how happy these guys are. If you're happy, nothing bad can happen, right? Cool. We're ready to go and kill them off. Um, alliance with Romania? Operation Margaret. I want to do probably alliance with Romania. An alliance with Romania would go a long way in stopping the Soviets from expanding into Eastern Europe. Call all of our boys in. Yeah, with these guys focusing on so many different fronts, I don't think they can really do too much against us, so. And you're already at war, so there you go. Who are you guys? Fighters? Okay, duplicate you. There you go, because we'll need a lot of planes for the Eastern Front. Well, that sucks for Yugoslavia. Also, but before we uh, kill them completely off, Yugoslavia is led by Prince Paul. He's looking a little old, disgruntled. Protect Vardar Valley. Now, it looks like they do have a unique focus tree, so. Regional cooperation, a little Entente. Balkan Entente. Rely on a great power together for victory. Defend Yugoslavia. I'll oh, get more land ports. That's a little bit too late for that one, though. A little too late. Tackle the Great Depression. Strengthen the 6th January regime. And a lot of regencies and stuff like that. Ooh, too bad, it doesn't matter. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Are we suffering from supply issues here? Uh, yes, we actually are. Supply-wise, let's take a good little look. Is it naval base limit limiting size? So, we have enough time to do this. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. You know what? Get some infrastructure here, too. Help these guys out. Help out the Irish. And Romania joins our alliance. The Romanian government has seen fit to join our alliance. Now we'll come to aid each other in our wars. They will be a valuable ally against the Bolsheviks. We get their oil as well, which is super, super important. And do Operation Grun. You know, I was somewhat worried about the uh, British Navy, but... Oh, well. Operation Felix. We'll talk to Franco. Portuguese Republic? Well, we can't do that one. Is it a faction with the UK or is war with Germany? Oh! Well, crap. Well, whatever. We'll kill them off later anyways. Uh, Middle Africa. Oh, we can't do that one? Oh, we have to be at war with these guys too? Operation Green is the necessary is necessary to supplement our invasion of the UK. It will draw British troops away from Britain and prevent them from using Ireland as their own base. Furthermore, it will give us more ports and air bases. Well, god dang, we have to manually justify... Uh, Finland, we'll go against Finland. We could offer them that, but whatever. Uh, defensive Treaty with Denmark? No. Operation Vesa Obung, Denmark. We'll begin Operation Vesa Obung by de invading Denmark. Our ultimate goal is to control the Skagerrak, but Denmark also controls Northern Schleswig, which we can take back. This is turned absolutely ahistorical at this point. But whatever. Spread out the line a little bit more, exploit the their holes. Oh, I, did, I need to fix... Oh, can, can we divide up the, the lines in Africa? Uh, that one's okay. I can't prefer that one. Organization reinforcer 2%. That's not very good at all. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to do those. That's, that just doesn't seem very good. I don't know. Let me know how I should divide up Africa. As much as I love a potential Africa for everyone here. Why is Zimbabwe free? Um, let me know how I should divide this up. I'm totally open to any new ideas for what you guys come up with. So, And the Middle East? Oh my gosh. Yeah, let me know in the comments below, because this is a bit too much, probably, for our administration, really. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd love to set up Reichs Commissarios and just... <laughs> just have my time with those provinces and areas, but... Let me know how I should divide it up. Hans Hutzig, Gross Afrikanische Stadt. I love that big African state, man. And... <sighs> Demand access to Norway? We'll do this one, Operation Vesa Ubung Norway. We'll continue Operation Vesa Ubung by invading Norway, in order to prevent supplies from reaching Finland and to prevent an assault launch from Oslo. Sounds like a good idea. You guys are over here. Oh, you guys gotta redo that one, too. Uh, what are you guys doing? Oh, you guys are over there. Can you not extend this? No, you cannot. Okay. Keep doing what you're doing. That's totally fine. Uh, we'll keep working on these guys first, because I don't get the supplies done. You guys do something like this. We'll need all the army. We need to go to war quickly with these guys, too. So, let's finish off Yugoslavia first. And we'll go to war with Denmark, and then go to war with America. These guys should be dead soon. Go off 200,000 people. We lost 7,000, which is awesome, so... They should capitulate very soon, because they're in all front war except for the coast, so. Commander training, very good. Passive defense, nice. No, Canada, please. We don't need that. Alfred Yodel, we love Yodel. Um, I at this point, a pact with the Soviet Union, I don't really we don't really need to do that. Any Soviet pact. Amend the anti-common pact by declaring the Soviet Union to be the main enemy of our alliance. Technically, 
even though it's basically historical now, if Operation Sea Lion was successful and ended the warp with the UK in defeat, Hitler would have taken anti-Soviet pact. Or if he was playing himself, he would take this. So, a pact with Germany. I mean, I'll still go to war in 1941, so. And they've already gone to war. I think I'll just do anti-Soviet pact. We'll mend the anti-Soviet commenter, anti commenter pact by declaring the USSR to be the main enemy of our alliance. I mean, might as well. Okay, they died. Cool. So how are we going to divide this? I want to divide this up more fairly than before. Um, I'll just take everything, right? Italy, Italy, Italy. Where is Italy? Is this? No, they want this one. Yeah. Claims, and they probably have claims on this. Yes. Ljubljana? No. Okay, so we have, they have that at least. And that, and the Kingdom of Albania, that one too. Everyone's gonna fight over this stuff, so that kind of sucks, so whatever. Uh, I don't know if there's an event where we can release this stuff and give it to our allies, so I'm gonna make sure we do it like this. Bulgaria, you can have that. You can probably have this one too. Um, Kosovo, no. Perot, definitely. Nis? I probably wanna release Serbia. Hungary, though, will also get some territory too. Unless I'm... Yep, I thought I missed a flag there. Yugoslavia, Serbia will get that one. Uh, Hungary will get that one. Because that was actually one of the claims that they... Pre... Prechmurgi? I, I said that was so incorrect. But I did look at the map of Hungary during World War II to get this kind of right. So... Uh, what is this? That looks so bad. Oh, whatever. Uh, Hungary, you can still have that too. I don't care. Okay, that looks slightly better. Croatia, Croatia. Slovenia. Uh, Slovenia is a failed state. Um, let's see, anything else? Croatia, let's get Croatia going. Satellite Bosnia? Uh, let's do, let's... Um, uh, where is Serbia? There's no Serbia. I'm not gonna liberate, just take all the states. And we'll, we can probably manually release them then. Alright, is there a decision for this? Oh, there we go, return Italian land. Um, sure. That's fine. And Bulgarian land? Sure. Whatever. Oh, that, that looks so much nicer. Okay. And the occupation of Yugoslavia. Yes, of course, we will partition Yugoslavia. Serbia, Croatia, and Slovenia will be liberated when it is ready. Yes, of course. Liberate Yugoslavia? No. Partition it. Fate of Bosnia. Enter context here. Create a Bosnia state. Should we go to the Serbs? Ooh, the lands will be given to Serbia. Well, really, I don't remember. The Croatia. Croatia should annex the lands. You know what? If we liberate Croatia, Serbia, and Bosnia, I don't know if this is historical or not. Probably not. But if we make them all liberated, then they can each hate each other even more if they're about equal power status. So, create a Bosnian state. Get into Croatia. Enter Srem. Um, we'll give it to them. Fate of Montenegro. I'll uh, give it to Serbia. I don't really care about that. Kosovars. Into the Serbian state. Okay, the options you select will form into a new Balkan order. All of the liberated countries become puppets of us. And, good. Well, let's see. Alright, I know this is not historical at all, but whatever. Uh, we've, th we've thrown histor historicity out into the wind right now. Anything there left by Lotojic? Cool. And we have Croatia. Pavelic. Ustaza. I've heard they're really cool dudes. But now, the axis is looking pretty good. Greece needs to die, as well as Portugal, America, and a lot of other places. But since we're done with that, let's just take one of these guys over here, get our fleet getting to go, and we'll go to war with Sweden as well, probably, too. All right, let's stop training. Oh, ooh. Oh, oh God, another one. Let's stop doing that. Go ahead and repair, and do this. And they'll repair, actually, probably pretty darn quickly. Beautiful. Here's a converted battleship hull. You know what? I've never really tried a campaign using a converted battleship hull. But I'll say, it's not too bad, actually. As far as we can tell. As far as we can tell. I, I could be completely wrong about that. Early radar. We don't even have stuff yet. But it's still 1940. Let's do that. Get our guys up there. And we'll get ready to go to war with America as, as well. So Denmark first. And then send our divisions to America. They don't have that many divisions. So, honestly, if this happened in real life, America would not tolerate what we've just done to the UK. Well, you never know it. FDR and his legs. I don't know. Should be able to go right on in, right? Throw them all right there, and we'll throw on some more casts. We'll probably need a lot of casts for Denmark. And if not, well, I don't care. We're just going to throw on more stuff for Denmark, too. 
We can send our, our tank symbol, whatever. Cool, anti-Soviet pact. The Germans have begun an effort to amend the anti commandant pact to directly implicate the USSR as the main enemy. All members of the pact will be mutually responsible for defense against the Soviets. Should we join the pact? Uh, we'd rather not get involved. Uh, can we go with Denmark first, maybe? I think it'd be better before we do that. We might actually be able to kill them off very quickly. Uh, Finland would be nice. Beige. We'll come back over there a little bit later. Uh, form an RKB. Yeah, why not? We'll form the Rex Colonial Boon to show the world that we deserve to return to our own colonies. Let's go to war and kill them off, hopefully. Oh, that's, that's quite laggy. Wow. All right. Model. I would love Model. And Yosef. Blow this. Can you canal, huh? The Dan. Well, crap. The Danes capitulate already. Impressed by our mighty troops and knowing that their existence is futile, the Danish government surrendered. However, in exchange for their early capitulation, they want to preserve their democratic institutions, their king, and a certain degree of independence, along with Northern Schleswig. Should we accept their demands, transforming Denmark into a model protectorate, or continue with invasion? German occupation. Son. No. You're out of your right out of your mind. You're absolutely out of your mind if they would do something like that. Oh, they're definitely paying the price for defiance. They're definitely paying the price. Oh, that's beautiful. We have so much air XP as well. How much damage are we doing? Twenty is nice. Very nice. Keep going, keep going, and actually we'll throw Aegis here still. Yes you are, that's good. Get over here. Go in straight to Copenhagen. Um, Bolshevist. Yeah, I'll do that one. Denmark has chosen poorly. You lost 80,000 people. You should have accepted our offer of complete and utter, uh, you know, stuff. I'll do, uh, Spiel's architecture. Albert Spiel shall be the architect of the Reich. Form shall follow function. And our buildings will be designed to look good and grand after a thousand years. New Berlin building? What was it? I think there's a meme about that, right? New Berlin? Ah, uh, Speer did nothing wrong. Ah, Raj. Yes, maybe someday, but not yet. A hundred and fifty thousand men died, Denmark. Was that worth it? I know you tried to offer a surrender earlier, but it was a pathetic offer. What do you have over here? Sweden, Nor oh, it's Nor Sweden and Norway. That's actually really, really, really good. Denmark. They're under control. Oh, of course. We can have that. I release him as a puppet, which... Danish army. Actually, well, I guess we could have just directly integrated them, but whatever. Taking a side neutral foreign policy? War profiteering? Of course they would be. Um, I'm kind of disappointed that we can't make them a Rex Commissariat. I would love to be able to do that, but... Oh, well. Um, well, you guys get over here now, too? That'll be good. Do we have enough guns for what I want to do? Make them 40? Yes, we do. The thickest German boys you've done ever seen. 43 divisions. It's probably a really bad idea doing it like this. But we'll do it anyways, because we can. And train them up anyways. Can't train them all. Huh? That sucks. Oh, it's still 1940. It's August. Eh, summer's coming along. We need more, way more artillery now. Who needs to take out the Soviet Union and take out the UK? Actually, just make a lot of that. And a little bit more anti-air as well. And what are we building? More stuff for uh, these guys up here? Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. You guys go when you can. You guys are going to stay in Berlin just in case to help guard the area. Just in case someone might want to take it out. Promises of peace? Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Oh, look at the talents coming over. Ah, oh, beautiful. Italian immigration to America and Canada. What a beautiful sight to behold. Alright, so with Kentucky here, FDR, I hope your legs can move really fast because we're going to go straight to war with you guys. 48, 50,000 manpower max. They're still on Disarm Nation. They'll get their little special bonus with plus 20% attack and defense on core territory. But will it be enough? They're still in the Great Depression. Loans of private industries. They have racial segregation. They have racial segregation. But we do not. We are much more progressive than the Americans, apparently. Field command, uh, model. I think I'm enjoying this too much. But, why not enjoy it, right? Uh, for, uh, Canadian soldiers, no, 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 no. Speer, please, thank you. Ah, Bermuda. Bermuda, I did Bermuda. 
How about we do uh, formalized press control? With a new decree from the Reich press leader, the Nazi regime now has full control over the press and near full control of the publishing market. Very good. Alright, so boys, you're going to get the crap beaten out of you. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you, there's no easy way to say it. We're, we're probably going to lose a navy. But the goal is to move fast and quickly. This is a not a good task force. Not yet. But it's going to have to work. Just want to set it up before they get too comfortable. Portable radios, let's go civilian economic stuff. And you guys, good luck. You're absolutely going to need it. But before we go to war, let's make sure all of our soldiers are over here first. Ooh, supplies are actually really not bueno, huh? Ooh, that's really not good. Okay, I would do that one too. There you go. We should be able to build that stuff up pretty quickly. Let's see. Oh, they don't have a lot of divisions. If we move fast enough, we can go right on in. As much as I want you to train, you're looking really not too bad. One division per tile, not bad, not bad. And not terrible for infrastructure. Oh! Well, that's not good. We better go in as fast as possible then. Are all of our divisions here? It appears to be so. Is anyone moving? Do we have anyone in the water? This is such a bad idea, but we're going to do it anyways. And they'll probably get an attack and defense bonus soon. Come on, can we break through New England? Let's break through New England. Go, 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 go. Yes, yeah, so we're flooding through New England. We have modern Blitzkrieg. We perfected it by the end of 1940. Let's grab some better anti-air. How many divisions do we have over here? None. I'm a little worried about the Soviets since they did break the non-aggression pact. Not good. Hey, an American division has been encircled. As it should be. Well, oh, this is a glitch. We can't see this. And the Philippine Commonwealth. I don't think we really care about the Philippines too much. Just keep going. I don't care about the attacks if they fail or not. 40,000 manpower. That's too much. They don't have that much equipment, really. And they went to war with the Hellenic Republic. Well, I'm not really too concerned about that. Sure, guys. Sure. Come on in. Call our allies in too. They're, are you losing against on defense against the Greeks? Oh my god. The incompetence level of Italy is incredible. But support the Reichspos. The basis of any bureaucracy is the ability to move letters and parcels. The Reichspost must be supported towards this goal. Makes perfect sense. New England has fallen. Or right, and will continue to fall. We've hit Wisconsin. We've hit, or we're trying to get into Michigan. We've hit the Dakotas. And pretty much all across the West Coast and northern part of the West Coast. And we're taking a lot of losses, but at this point, I don't really care. This is going a lot better than I thought it would. I'll be honest, man. Oh, they finally peaced out, huh? Oh, do you guys not have orders? No, you don't at least have orders. I want to get down to Texas. Go, 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 sons. Before the Soviet boys decide to attack us. Keep going, keep going. I know supplies probably ain't too good, but still, it doesn't matter. Does not matter. 33 divisions left, 16,000 manpower. Well, FDR, you took too long. Or really, the UK just gave up way too early. Hey, we're close to Detroit. You guys aren't doing anything? Guys. Guys, we're flooding through the Midwest. Love it. Can we get down to Pennsylvania? Yes, we did. New York has fallen. Jesus Christ, it's too easy. Naval Waffa? Hmm. Oh, we don't even MP40. Oh, that kind of sucks. Hey, another division. Not bad. There you go. And we are giving more time for the Soviets to build up, but whatever. Actually, we won't get that one yet just because that'll hurt us for now. Uh, we want as much production on that stuff as possible for now, so. There you go. Chicago's the capital. That is a sad day. Keep going. The, the entire Northeast has fallen. We have DC too. Wow. LA is a capital. God, I wish we could see. How many losses have we had? 100,000? Quarter million? I mean, for America, that's worth it. That's totally worth it. Then there goes Michigan. All of Michigan is basically dead now. We've broken into Ohio and Virginia and West Virginia. Keep going, guys. We're doing great. 
Oh, that was takes the time to get this done. Okay. That's fine. And out of that, we'll probably go ahead and do racial laws. We're learning from America. Although our government overlooks instances of racial discrimination, we will now make discrimination into national policy. Developer note, there will be no further mention of uh, some sort of racial policy. S underscore team 337. What? I love racial policy. Oh boy, can I say that? Can I say that? Anyways. Fascism, democratic, uh, socialism. See, we support socialism here. We get more popularity of it. It is what it is. Whatever. I mean... <laughs> if the UK... I mean, someone did say that this mod is going to get a massive update, or at least a huge update. Maybe it's bounced it out more? I mean, I heard there's going to be like a German Civil War, but like, the UK, that was really easy to take out the UK. I was worried. They had over 300 ships in their navy, and I know, and I understand. It spread out across the entire area, like the entire world, or, but still, like, like, bro. Um, Adolf Hitler's an inexperienced micromanager chief of army. That'd be really bad. Keitel? More attack would be really cool. Less supply consumption. Blomblug? Um, can we choose him? Yeah, we can. Von Brautisch? I love more attack. Speidel, Von Bock, Von Klug. These guys love attacking. Because it makes sense. Lübke? Bernd Freitag, Von Loringhoven. I kind of want to do that one, but I'm going to go with Mr. Guns and Butter. Ah, uh, less supply issues. Ah, well, the Deep South will be German once again. I don't think it was ever German. Really that German, but eh, part of it was probably. I guess... It's 1941. Happy 1941. After this, I guess we'll take out the USSR? And we might call it a campaign? Already? I don't know. I'd like to get through all the uh, focuses here, but... Okay. Nuclear physics? Uh, let's grab this one first, probably. Electromechanical computer. Um, we need way more artillery and anti-air, but... Okay. And what are we doing? We're building up a lot of St. Lawrence. Uh, actually, at this point, it doesn't really matter. Build up more of Ireland. Get some more Millies in Homeland Germany. And by Homeland Germany, I mean... Oh, we, we never did Lebensraum uh, Poland. Huh. Is that, is that supposed to happen? I mean, how is America not dead yet? I mean, we're taking out the entire country except for, like, the southwest part. I mean, yeah, L.A. and San Diego and San Fran, Sacramento probably have a lot of strength still, but, like, bro, America, you're not coming back from this one. Did they get their national spirit for that, though? They didn't get their national spirit. Is that bugged or something? Usually, when you go to war with them, they get, at least in vanilla, of course, they get a national spirit where you get more attack and defense. I was expecting that to happen, but, you know, if they're cut off from supplies, they can't do too much. How's Greece actually doing? Looks like your allies are suffering. And they threw in too, way too many divi- Oh my god, guys. The AI. It's not bad. But sometimes it's just god-awful. But, this is definitely not how I wanted the episode to go, I'll be honest. Satellite, the Commonwealth of what, Belize or something? Phil oh! Oh, you know what? Let's do that. I don't want to have them feast. Yeah, let's do that one. That'd be good. We're actually coming start it. Philippines? Well. Sure, guys. British North America, you guys can come on in. Leon Plata, deregulation. Do they have unique focus tree? They, they do. The Philippines do, maybe? Maybe not. Maybe this is a... Maybe this is, actually. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. I'm not really sure. But German Reich is here. Alright. Hannah Batman. Uh, quite a bit smoocher. Well, oh, there goes Lithuania and such. I guess there's one more thing to do for the next episode, then. One more main thing. We still need to take out the rest of uh, Sweden and all them down there. But still, that's, that's not bad. Well, then. Cool. Really good. This cavalry division's definitely got an upgrade, though. I'll, I'll say that. Um, Rostock. We'll go to Karlskrona. We had six, and this will make it eight. Boom, boom. Just so we can link up and get supplies as fast as possible. And boom, double, boom, boom. Perfect. All right. Well, very, uh, very aggressive war we had here. Oh no, no sand regions. Oh, there you go. 
Oh, I gave you... Oh, okay. Go home and repair. Convoy rating, and do the Baltic Sea. But do that first, because you can, and then do that first, because you can as well. Racial laws? We love racial laws. What's next? Blut und Boden. Blood, referring to the racially defined group of people and soil, the land in which they settle, has been one of our main slogans. And we must continue to idealize the rural life and to call for a grand colonization of the eastern steppes. Due to the oppression of the Junkers, this may be more propaganda effort than actual policy. As it should be. New York, anything. We blow the Panama Canal, but we're still at peace. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, who's this? Oh, we're still at the, oh, the Greeks, yeah. Jesus Christ, guys. Italy. You take out Athens. How are they not capitulated yet? Please please take those guys out, please. And we'll, well, what are we going to do with America? Thoroughly, I would love to do that, but we, it wouldn't make sense why how we would be able to do that. I wonder who's going to lead. Is it Rockwell leading? Maybe. Maybe not. But this episode has been wild. Absolutely wild. An e super easy invasion of the UK. Just destroy the Allies. Um, so then it just makes sense to go to war with America as fast as you can when they don't build themselves up. Also, right now, it's, it's the game is lagging so hard it's completely stopped. And I can see my blue mouse wheel as well, but... Yeah, I, would, I definitely would like to try the Hugenberg... Or Huguenot? Hug no, not Huguenot is the French religious group. The Hugenberg Path. Alfred, I think it's Alfred. So, Stalin seems like a lot of fun to play as well, but... Yeah, not bad. And... The Christian co Oh, Pelly. Oh, Pelly. Oh, this is great. <laughs> and that makes sense. That actually literally makes sense. Loans of private industries, arsenal of democracy. Fascist democracy is the best democracy. Um, okay, maybe don't. Well, maybe that's not good to say out of context as well, but whatever. Revalue our foreign policy. Well, neutrality. What? Neutrality act? I don't know if you're allowed to be neutral right now. Time to get You should get involved. You should get involved. Preserve, preserve our security? A third Roosevelt term? I don't know if that's going to actually happen. Um, okay. Sure. Why not? Ah, the divisions are here. They're all... Are they all the same? Yeah, they're all the same. It's fine, whatever. Um, okay. Well, maybe we'll take out... At least start the invasion of Sweden. Maybe next. And we'll see what happens. Uh, actually, you guys are here. Oh, oh. Uh, actually, you know what? I think I'll end the episode here and do this off-screen to divide up the territory for Italy. So, and I might take a treat myself. If you enjoyed the video, please do consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know when you've when have you played as Germany, Nazi Germany, and calm before the storm. Has it been this easy for you to take, do a sea line as well? Please let me know in the comments below because that was ridiculously easy. Probably the easiest time I've ever taken in the UK. But. Thanks for coming by, watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.